So often when we try to solve uh, problems or address issues, we go to the people for whom those issues are specific without realizing that a community surrounds those issues. And people in the community need to be more informed, they need to have opportunities to address the issues, and they need to be included more. I think one of the things that we have as an obstacle to our future success are two state lines. And I grew up in a place that was split by a state line, and it's really hard to get political motion going when, when you have two different states that are represented, and we have three. So we've been to some other places where that's also an issue, and we've just got to learn to work around that. I've got young kids uh, living with me here in Chattanooga, uh, raising them here, and I want them to have great opportunity to stay in the Chattanooga region and be successful and have the job opportunities that they're looking for right here at home. Anytime you take 16 counties and three states and you're sitting down to try to strategically think about where you want to go in the future. We want to ensure that we have a viable workforce, that we have industry, and that we have the education to support the future. This project actually brings us all together so that we can plan a future together. And I think with that planning, you're not just landing in the future, you're planning the way that you're going to get to the future. I think the, the long-term impact of Thrive is it, it gives us an opportunity to look at ourselves as a region rather than our individual communities and gives us an opportunity to look at what are the things that are common to the whole region that need to be addressed and that once we've got some of those kind of answers on the environmental front, education, economic development and tourism, all those kind of things that that's how we can address bigger issues than just what we have at the local level. Thrive 2055 in this area is very unique because as an elected official, it crosses those invisible political borders. We all share the same needs and the same wants and the same desires for our communities. Thrive 2055 brings us all into the same room. Well, Thrive is incredibly important for those of us who have been working and advocating for conservation issues because this is the first opportunity we've had to be able to talk about conservation with folks that are also involved on issues related to economic development and transportation and education. Thrive has allowed us this opportunity to bring diverse people with varying backgrounds, with different, different interests together to hear from each other. I can see as being a big challenge, but I can also see it as a great asset. I just think it's a great vision for the future and I'm just glad to get to be a part of it and, and learn and uh, try to help our area grow. Um, everybody really wanted to work together. The sense of collaboration has been outstanding. Everybody's really working together and thinking big picture and that's been outstanding to see. This is a big deal uh, and I firmly and strongly believe that to the extent that we work together on these big ideas, on these plans, on these initiatives, success will be ours and quite literally the sky is the limit.